Anyway, peace and love guys. Today we have the 992. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at these real quick. Last time I had a pair of these were the, I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. box. Oh, thought it was these. When I opened it, it was these. Huh. Never seen these in a long time. Cash rules everything around me. Kyrie ones? How do these end up in the Kyrie one box? What the heck, man? Dollar dollar bill, y'all. And it is not. They're around here. Yep, these are the ones that are a bit more, just a little bit more aged. That's all. That one or the other one? Found them. This literally took me like 45 minutes to find these stupid shoes. We'll go put them back. Oh my god. Peace and love, guys. All right, let's go ahead and talk about these. This is the second pair of the now named Lost and Found. I was calling the re-image when it was supposed to be reimagined, and you guys laughed at me. That's okay, though. But here we have the Lost and Found. This is the second pair, so shout the boom. These are Varsity Red Black Sail Muslin, and I'm guessing the muslin part is the the black on here that's kind of like cracked. Like that, well, that sounded kind of weird saying that. They got the new StockX tags. I guess that's cool. They, they still shouldn't put those in the box, but, I'll, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But this is the second pair of the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And these are actually pretty interesting. As you see, they did have the correct old school box, right? And these do have a really good shape. However, when you get to the part where it's like, see that tail box looks, it looks pretty good. Like an 85, right? I don't really know. But this pair just didn't seem as aged as the first pair that I have. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it and look right there in the heel part. I, I don't know if this is like a first or second batch with the correct box or what. And I'll bring out the, the first pair that I reviewed so we can see this a little closer. But I'm just giving you the details of this pair first. And they're, they're really, really good. They're really, really good. I know the footage looks a little warm because... I couldn't use artificial light. I had to use natural light because this is like when I still was recovering from surgery. But that's the insides of them. We have a 
forth the light in soul i guess if that's what you want to call it it's a little different from what i've been seeing it's kind of a newer one and if you look at the bottom it's not as like whited out or aged really at all as the one before and i was caught off guard by this i thought this one would be just like the one i had before just with the updated box and it's not it's kind of just more like an 85 cut chicago and it's like a little bit cracked i can't even say semi cracked it's just like a little bit kind of cracked like look at that it's not really aged at all so i'm not sure how these are supposed to look i don't even know when these are supposed to come out but this pair right to the right is the last pair that i did and i'm going to keep the black laces in them so we can distinguish the two and if you look at the cut the cut looks pretty much the same like the shoes look the same from what i can tell it's just they somehow use different materials to age them even the toe boxes on the right that one looked more aged uh, okay that's that's pretty close those are pretty close i'm not sure what swoosh looked better but now you can really see that the right one and i was again i was like wow and even the reds look at the two reds the one on the right it's not as like deep red i guess so I guess this comes down to preference at this point, and we'll have to see what they're gonna drop when the retails drop. Like, we're gonna have to see how those are looking. So I might just take the pair on the right, keep those, and put those in the box from the pair on the left. I might just do that, I don't, I don't know. That's me comparing them, that's the new ones from Boom. And shout out to Boom though, they've been sending me a lot of stuff, I really do appreciate that. But I'm just not sure where they got this batch from. Like, let's look at this one. That's just really interesting. And I still like them. I still wore them. Even though I wore the pair on the right more, they're still more like whitewashed out. Like if you call it that, I don't know what to call it that. See, that's the that's the pair from the first time. It's just interesting. So, and I, I kind of like comparing batch to batch because you you get to see how they're you know how they develop through over time. It's pretty interesting. And even under the black light, as you can see, just from that little part right there, they're clean. There's no marks. I'll show you guys just for the sake of the video, but there's no marks. There's no stamps, no marks. And that's also a good thing. So let me know what you guys think about this pair. Do you like the first pair? Do you like this pair from Boom? I like the shape. I like everything about it. And to be honest, it would be nice if it was more aged. That's the word we're, we're, we're using for these, for the lost and founds. We're going to call them those as well. But there's no marks on them. So... That's it, guys. Peace, love, and light. Check out the first video again if you haven't seen it. And shout out to Boom again for getting these to me in a timely manner. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.